asteroid coming right toward us, folks. The man at NASA who might land on an asteroid someday tells us where this thing is headed in. Yep, massive asteroid on a collision course with our planet. It's estimated at nearly 2,000 feet wide, longer than six football fields. That's mm. massive. Tom Jones, former NASA astronaut, Fox News contributor, and planetary scientist in asteroid studies, is actually a co-chair on a NASA task force that deals with planetary defense. Hey, Tom, how are you? Welcome back. In a little bit. It's to you. big. I mean, if it were to hit, what would happen to a major city in this, in this world? Right, this is one of the larger near-Earth objects, those asteroids that approach or cross the Earth's orbit. And this one uh, would cause devastation across uh, an entire region of a continent. It would wipe out an, an entire eastern seaboard, for example, or the entire uh, south-central part of the U.S. Uh, but fortunately, this one's 170 years in the future, and there's lots of time to think about well, what we might do about it. That's a key component. It's 170 years away. How do we know that? Well, uh, this is the latest study that's done by some international experts in Italy and Spain and uh, Jet Propulsion Lab in California for NASA. And they calculated with computer models how this orbit of RQ-36 would evolve. And they found out discovering that um, in uh, 2182, there's about a one in a thousand chance that it might strike the Earth on a close path. Mm. So we've got some time. We, right, and the odds aren't very some, great. I wouldn't lose any got, sleep over this one. Uh, we've got some time to prepare, too, because you and I are not going to be around. But you've got a big job at NASA. Because the thinking is at some point, astronauts like yourself, you could fly to an asteroid, land on it, and maybe even redirect that. Is, is that going to be a reality, Tom? Well, the, um, the important thing to note is that by visiting asteroids and exploring them, we learn how to protect ourselves from this hazard. Uh, RQ-36 is a known asteroid with a threat to us, but there are lots of undiscovered objects that pose a threat to us that we don't even know about. So by discovering what asteroids are out there, we identify targets that we might explore with robots and then people. And at the same time, we acquire the information we need to develop effective technologies to nudge them slightly out of the way. Which would be critical. <laughs> well, that's one of the great benefits, I think, from space exploration, is to learn how to nudge these objects, stop a natural catastrophe in its tracks. Wow. Are we better at figuring out what's headed our way? Because you know, a lot of times we do these stories, and I'm told it's the amateurs who are watching the stars at night, and they're the ones who figure out what's out there. Now, are we developing a way to figure out what's coming our way in advance? I mean, 170 years is pretty good advance notice, but are we better or not, huh? Uh, we're getting better. Uh, NASA spends about $4 million a year on looking for near-Earth objects that might be headed our way. And the new NASA budget proposes an increase in that. And we're going to need bigger telescopes on the ground and perhaps even a space-based telescope that can do a very thorough job of looking for even the small objects that can wipe out a city. And that kind of catalog is what we need to develop both future exploration plans and the deflection strategies to ward off these catastrophes. Uh, but but, but in, in a short answer there, I, uh, uh, how are we progressing with that? Uh, well, right now, I think we're doing okay on the big objects like RQ-36, but we don't know about the small ones. So we actually have to step up our efforts if we actually want to discover those objects that pose the most frequent hazard to the Earth. Well, uh, he knows more about it than anyone. He's Tom Jones out of Washington. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. All right, Tom. All right, Bill. All righty, Bill. Will the president... The pre